Good evening, everyone. Joe for 10bugbreaks.com doing a three, three box, three envelope, random letter break number 12 of 2015 Topps Vault Originals. Five by seven autographs, nice stuff. Big thanks to these folks right here for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. And there are your first name letters, first name letters. Remember, so like H Hank, is Hank Aaron, I, if you get I, if you look at the checklist right there, Ichiro, makes sense, right? All right, let's randomize each list. Five and a three, eight times for each list. Names first, one, two, three, four, five, and a three, six, seven, and eight. Curtis down to Joe P after eight times. Uh, letter trades are allowed, although rare, but they, they are allowed. Five and a three, letters, one, first name letters, two, three, four, five, and a three, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight times, we've got C down to I and T. All right, so Curtis, you got your letter C. Richard with the D and the O. Tyler with M. Joe P with P. Look at that. Johnny with J. Chris with Chris with L and N. Cosmo gets A. Uh, Chris, you got F. Curtis with uh, E. Nice. You got you got you got C and E plus the H. Curtis, you also have the R. Wade with the V. Cos with the B. And Joe P with I and T. Let's sort by column B, so it's alphabetically. Yes, you can see the checklist again. Here you go. I'll drop the link into the chat too. It might be a little small if you're watching on a mobile device. So there's a, you can click that link again to see the full checklist. There's not very many players on here. It's a very, very, very small checklist. So um, when we used to do big case breaks of this, we'd always see repeats. But I think, I think there's enough time that passes between each of these breaks for people to be excited about this. But it's pretty cool. There's a lot of weird stuff too. Like weird stuff like, not weird, but um, some things you wouldn't expect. You have Ozzy Smith as a Padre in this. Um, you have, I think there's another guy that like you never, I think David Cohn is in the, yeah, David Cohn's a Red Sox in this. So they have a picture of him in, in his Red Sox gear, which is always kind of disconcerting to me. I was like, he's not a Red Sox, that's weird. Can't do that. I think there are a couple other ones that are a little odd like that too. Just a few rookies too. Rusty Castillo's a rookie in this. Jock Peterson's a rookie in this. I think those are the only two rooks. And then there's, um, not that it matters for this break, but there's a Marlins edition of Ichiro and then a Mariners version of Ichiro. Um, so he's saying he wants to trade the D and the O for the E. Does that do anything for you, Curtis Erickson? And these are the uh, final envelopes from the from a from the case that we popped open a little while ago. Uh, we have one more case, but I don't know what we're gonna do with that. We may turn it into those breaks, maybe not. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to discuss that with the boss man tomorrow. But there's the there's the trade offer right there, Eric uh, Christian Erickson. C Christian Erickson? Why did I say that? Oh, that's a midfielder for Tottenham Spurs in the English Premier League. Curtis Erickson is the is the gentleman in our break. So why did I say Christian Erickson? Place for Denmark too, I think. Danish national team. World Cup this summer. All right, I think we're gonna have to. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So he, he appreciates it, but he's kind of good. He wants. He has. He likes the H for the Hank Aaron. We yeah. Uh, I've done. We've done literally dozens and dozens of envelopes of these over the over the years. I think we've only seen one Hank Aaron. All right, let's do this. Trade window close. I could just leave this on my screen, actually. I would imagine so, right? Corey saying Hank Aaron's probably the lowest. Yeah, is the lowest numbered. I would imagine so. That does not surprise me. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. Uh, just because we have a little time in the evening. <laughs> Curtis, it's like I've been called worse than a uh, than a soccer player. 
All right, we're going to play the Who Am I game. So if I keep this far away, I don't think you should be able to see anything that gives this away. Okay. Uh, this is number 63 out of 99. He is, who am I? He is 6'3", 220 pounds. I won't give away the year, but he was born in Puerto Rico. Bats right, throws right. Signed by this team in 1986 as a free agent. A tip of the cap to this guy for a superb career spent mostly in this state where the baseball battering outfielder won two AL MVP awards for his ability to drive in runs at feverish rates. He won back-to-back -back home run titles in the early, this era, then closed the decade with what, is, uh, what was the number four RBI total over a four-year period since World War II. I'm, try, I, I'm reading slowly. I want to skip the name or any references to the name. And I'm trying to eliminate references to dates because I think that, that'll start to give it away. So Joe P. guessing Dale Murphy. Oh yeah, re remember, remember your, uh, remember your checklist as well. Any other guesses? No, only Joe P. likes this game. I'll get. I'll start giving you some more information. Dale Murphy, Joe P. was not born in Puerto Rico. I'm almost certain of that. Uh, let's see here. He was signed in 1986 as a free agent. By this, this is going to give it away. No, actually, let, let me tell you this first. The back-to-back -back home run titles were in the early '90s. Were the early '90s? If that changes anything for you, close the deck. Close the '90s uh, uh, with the fourth RBI total, 560 over over a four-year period since World War II. That's a lot of RBIs in that period of time. Uh, Tony Perez, not a home run hitter. Edgar Martinez, Venezuelan, not Puerto Rican, right? If I'm, I probably just caused an international incident, I think. It is, here, I'll give away another, another thing. Uh, in 1986, he was signed by the Rangers. That should give it away. A tip of the cap to... This guy, for a superb career, spent mostly in Texas, where the baseball bat battering outfielder won two AL MVP awards. 63 out of 99, Juan Gon Gonzalez. There's the man right there. Silver ink autograph. Dude did crush. So letter J, first name letters, letter J, that goes to... Johnny Gonzalez with Juan Gonzalez. There you go. All right, so let's get, today is the 15th. That was letter J. And this was break number 12. All right, next one, <laughs> Richard says the fix is in. All right. This is 44 out of 99. Uh, let's see, he's uh, 5'11", 195. I feel like that's, I feel like that's, uh, that's kind to this player. Out of 195, uh, bats left, throws left. He's a pitcher, by the way. Bats left, throws left. Was a good hitter as well. Signed in 1979 as a free agent by this team. Um, all, all this information is going to give it away. Uh, oh, he bo he won the... Uh, in his rookie season, he won both the NL Cy Young and the Rookie of the Year Award. NL Cy Young and Rookie of the Year Award. Uh, and he was born in this is, uh, all this is gonna all this information is gonna give it away. He was born in Navajo, Mexico, Mexico. Uh, 
add the text on the back. Blank Azul took on an especially vibrant hue when an unknown 20-year-old Mexican pitcher infected L.A. with... That's right, Joe P., you got it. Fernando Valenz with Fernando Mania in 1981 with a combination of a devastating... Uh, with a combination of charisma, an ostentatious look to the sky windup, and a devastating screwball. Valenzuela was both the NL Cy Young and Rookie of the Year award. He had an incredible start to the season, too. There he is, Fernando. 44 out of 99 for the letter F. That goes to Chris McKee. Chris with that one. It was hard. It was hard to. It was. It's hard to like kind of do trivia on that because there is so much like dead giveaway information. All right, Chris McKee with that one. That's break twelve. All right, and the last one. Good luck, everybody. All right, last one. It's 20 out of 20. One of the lowest numbers we've seen. 20 out of 20. 6'2", 195. Born in Refugio, Texas. Refugio? Re Born in Texas. Right-hander, throws right, bats right. Was drafted by this team in 1965. That might give it away. In 1965... Uh, when he was traded to this team in December of 1971, a 25-year-old, this guy, unlocked the raw ability he had shown in flashes with this team, with the, with the previous team. Over eight seasons, he won more games, 138, and struck out more batters, 2,416, than with any other team that he played for. Blank spun his first three no-hitters for this team and in 1973, set an MLB record with 383 whiffs. Obviously a pitcher, 20 out of 20. Older school pitcher who was drafted in the mid-60s, but didn't hit his stride until uh, the early 70s with this team. This guy did a, this guy did bloom a little, a tad bit later. He was sort of Kofaxy in a way, where the early years were a little wild, and then only until he learned how to pitch actually pitch not just throw is where everything just kind of clicked you got it Richard Richard nailed it it's Nolan Ryan there he is California Angels edition of Nolan Ryan 20 out of 20 look how young he looks there that's awesome and that's that's fins up that's Chris again with the L and N combo there you go well that's it that's the break jazbeeshobbyland.com. Those are some strong hits right there. Thanks very much, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com and 10buttbreaks.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.